In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control a DC brushed motor using an Arduino Uno. What you're going to need to complete this tutorial is an Arduino Uno, a cable to bring the Uno to your computer, an LED, a resistor, an NPN BJT transistor, the brushed motor of course, a breadboard, and some wires to bring it all together. Here we see a schematic of the circuit we want to build. Digital 9 will control the transistor that will in turn control the motor. We are not connecting the motor directly to a digital output pin because the digital outputs can only safely deliver 40 milliamps. If we draw more than this, we will cause damage to the Arduino. The 5 volt rail can deliver up to 200 milliamps, which is alright for a very small motor. If your motor requires a larger current draw, you will need to supply a secondary source of power. The transistor I'm using is a 2N3904. Any similar NPN BJT will work. Digital 9 is connected to the base of the transistor. The emitter is connected to ground, the collector is connected to the low side of the motor. When digital 9 goes high, the circuit between the base and the emitter will close, meaning current will flow. We include a resistor on the baseline so we limit current flow. When digital 9 is high, the circuit between collector and emitter will also close. Here we will have a 5 volt differential across the motor. Now at the start of the motor, current draw will be very high. It is good practice to add a ceramic capacitor across the leads of the motor to help stabilize the voltage. I am not including a capacitor in this schematic. This should work alright if we are using a very small motor. Now you are probably wondering, what's with the LED? I am using this LED as a flyback diode. A LED is not an ideal flyback diode, but it will work for the purposes of this demonstration. When we apply voltage across the motor, the motor starts to move. It builds up momentum. When we set digital 9 low, power is removed from the motor, but its momentum keeps it spinning. The inductive energy stored in the motor will generate an electrical potential opposite to the potential that spun up the motor. If this potential is not dissipated in a safe way, we may cause damage to our circuit. The LED allows current to flow in reverse, dissipating the potential. Generators and motors are similar in design. Try connecting your motor to just a LED and spin the motor. You will be able to light up the LED. This is the potential created from the momentum of the motor that we are trying to dissipate in a safe way. When it comes to assembling this circuit, pay attention to the orientation of the transistor. My transistor comes in a standard TO92 package, meaning pin 1 is the emitter, pin 2 is the base, and pin 3 is the collector. Connect the base to digital 9 via a 220 ohm resistor. Connect the emitter to ground. Connect the collector to the low side of the motor. The other end of the motor should be connected straight to 5 volt. The LED should allow current to flow from the low side of the motor back to 5 volt. Let's go ahead and get this all wired up. The code we're going to use for this is going to be very similar to the code used to dim the LED in the previous tutorial. First let's give this a save. I'm going to call mine tutorial 7. The first thing we're going to want to do is initialize two integer variables. The first will be called motor pin and it will be equal to 9. The second will be called intensity and it will be equal to 0. In our setup here we're going to set the pin mode of our motor pin to be an output. In our loop we're going to increment our intensity value by 1 and then we're going to evaluate our intensity value and check whether or not it is greater than 255. If it is we're going to set our intensity value to be equal to 0. Then we're going to write using analog write to our motor pin our intensity value. We will then give a 20 millisecond delay Go ahead and upload this to your Arduino Uno now. So we can see that our motor first doesn't start due to not enough potential being applied. This happens when our intensity value is low. Once enough potential is applied, it winds up and continues to speed up as we increment our intensity value to 255. Notice how the LED lights up. Clearly quite a bit of current is flowing backwards during the operation of the motor. When the motor achieves steady state at 5 volts, 
That is, if we were to close the transistor and keep it closed, the LED will not light up. For more tutorials like this, visit thezanshow.com.